the other thing we have, we have a, there's a, a few photographs have appeared. Um, I think there was a photograph taken of the scene with an X where we assume it's the wounding site. There must have been some blood or something on the road. We only have two, we only have one other casualty, I think, at the time. Um, there was a guy who was shot in the, the neck. Was that the, the, the chap on the motorbike, wasn't it, I think? He, he was attempting to lift um, Collins into the, into the um, armoured car. It's clean wound well. through the neck and was able right. to carry on. It is an interesting aspect in relation to the wounding that Collins is actually moved multiple times, you know, for, right. for in relation to where, so, so hit. Um, apparently um, in and around the area where the X is on that side mm. of the road, then moved across behind the armoured right. car, then transferred right. from the armoured car into the That makes the, sense, um, though, yeah, in, in the, in the si yeah. situation. But the, the, the woman who took the photograph, or the girl who took the photograph, or uh, one of the photographs of the, the scene, she went to, to the scene and she had been given a little box brownie. Her name was um, Agnes Hurley, and she took a photograph of the scene. Um, but she also picked up other artefacts, which unfortunately have, 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 have gone. Um, she talks about picking up uh, bullet casings, and I think there was a collar as well, which may well have come from the, 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 the chap who was, was shot thereafter, um, because there was some blood on it. I mean, I, I think if you just put it into you know, a box for, as a keepsake, it's not going to be able to stand up in court. But, could we have got anything from that? I mean, using again with our with our twenty first century heads on, would it be of any value to look at those things? Oh, absolutely. I think it'd be very interesting to see the collar. You could see if there's blood staining on it. I would expect to still see it on a white collar. Mm -hmm. um, DNA profiling would still be possible to attempt. So you could see the the, the source mm -hmm. of that blood and see who actually owned it or who was wearing it when they were bleeding. And then for the bullet casings, that might confirm the weapons used, Dave, wouldn't that it? That comes yeah. into your remit. Yeah, I mean, I suppose, given the, the story we have from Agnes Hurley, we've lost a lot of the context. She, she's come to the scene the day after or in the following mm -hmm. days, and she's collected these things up. Now, mm -hmm. from the point of view of a crime scene investigation or a forensic investigation, that is, that's sort of frustrating mm -hmm. because therein you lose all the context of it yes the, the big information you're getting from these is where they are because mm -hmm. they will locate guns and guns will locate shooters mm -hmm. um, so her gathering these things up and, and collecting them and, and keeping them uh, while you'll, you certainly you can look at them they'll, they'll tell you a lot about the weapons that were used mm -hmm. um, if you have the weapons recovered we can potentially match those to the guns that we know are at the scene I suppose what is useful is, is the photographs. I know, again, this is after the scene. Uh, it, it's in the following days. But it does give you a perspective of what the scene looked like. You know, you can mm -hmm. see there's yeah. much less vegetation there than there is yeah. today. Yeah. Um, you, you can see how close the embankment is to the road there. You know, and just give you an idea if somebody was above you there shooting down the position that you were in mm. and, and the capability that you would have had to return fire. Mm. Uh, and, and that's... That's the big benefit, I think, of these.